Hey, how's it going? And welcome back. And at last, I'm going to be showcasing some Creation Club mods that I wasn't able to access till now, starting with the Spell Knight Armor. The Spell Knight Armor is a creation that adds three variants of Spell Knight Armor for the princely sum of 400 credits, which is around $4 or approximately three of Her Majesty's finest pounds. The creation was primarily made by LEH, while the quest was created by Chris Takahashi. No point wasting time, let's just crack on. And we'll do a very quick overview of the quest before we get to the armor itself. So on installing the mod, a quest will be added to your list, asking you to go to Markarth to investigate the Silver Blood Inn. So fast travel there, or if you're like me, a low level character that's never been there, take a carriage. And once you're in Markarth, head into the Silver Blood Inn, And you head round the back and you'll find a book on the table. And I'll let you read this yourself. Um, but that starts the next part of the quest. Which is going to send you into a remote part of the reach. And you have to get across to this bridge to find a flower and meet the ghost. Now careful at the bridge because you will meet some Forsworn here and even possibly some bandits. So what I've done is I've got a follower because I'm low level. I'm using my curio and all you do now is follow the ghost. And here will lead you along a path where you're going to meet some more Forsworn. And just take them out. I'm literally at level one here. So... After you've done that, search the corpses and you're going to find a note and that will start the next part of your quest. And this will send you to Castwire. Now be careful of this one, it's uh, very tricky at a low level. If you're already high level then you know, you'll probably do it in breeze. And if you come up at the top here, you'll actually find the grave with two bodies with an iron and steel version of the armor. You can take it now if you want to. Uh, and then we go over to Castfire. Now, I'm going to use Natural Knack. There's no way I can survive this battle. So I'll just pop in the Natural Knack. Let them deal with it. And once that's done, just come back and grab the Corrupted Heart. And don't forget to loot around the area. There's some good stuff here. Good ingredients and some good loot. Obviously it's leveled. And make your way back to the grave. Okay, you can get two versions of this armor by doing this in different ways. And I'll show you what to do for each. And I'll show you the different enchantments uh, later on. First of all, we'll do what I call the a good way, and that is actually where you purify the heart. Um, before we do that though, what I'm going to do is do a heart save, and then we'll activate the Shrine of Mara. And eventually the two lovers should appear. Oh, yeah, sorry, could have put it in the heart of the grave. There you go. And they'll disappear, leaving you your armour. And the second way, and I call the bad way, is just go and place a heart straight in the grave and you'll have to fight him for the armour. As you see, I'm prepared for that. Lovely jubbly, he's dead. And the armour's the same, all you do is get different enchantments uh, uh, for this one. I'm going for the bad armour um, because my character is morally ambiguous. Okay, and we go into this in more detail and we we'll have a look at the armour. Okay, so let's go and look at our shiny new armour. And we'll be starting with the iron armour, which I think actually looks fairly decent. Um, fantastic for role playing as a hedge knight. Uh, now remember, all these armour sets as well are smithable. Uh, once you've got that particular smithing perk. So if we look at the stats, which are slightly higher than normal iron armor, we've got the 
Armour itself coming in at uh, an armour rating of 31 and a weight of 30. Uh, the armour rating at the bottom is a total armour worn. The helmet comes in at an armour rating of 21, a weight of 5. And the gauntlets come in at an armour rating of 15, again a weight of 5. And the boots come in at an armour rating of 15 and a weight of 6. And next up we got the steel version again which you picked up outside the uh, grave which is actually quite smart looking armour. And again it's uh, slightly above the average stats for um, uh, plate steel armour in the game. About three points or so. Okay so we look at the armour itself. And it comes in at an armour rating of 38 and a weight of 35. And the armour rating bit at the bottom is when the full set is worn. Now bear in mind I have absolutely no perks at all in any armour. I am actually level 1 in this character. The helmet has a armour rating of 23 and a weight of 5. Yeah, nice looking armour, I do like it actually. And the gauntlets have an armour of rating of 17 and a weight of 4. And finally, the boots have an armour rating of 17 and a weight of 8. And as I said, a total armour rating of 95. Not bad, not bad at all. And here we have the final set of the three pieces, the one you actually pick up from the greys, the ebony set, best looking armour, I believe, and again, slightly higher than normal ebony armour. Now, if you go for what I call the nice ending, where you purify the heart, you get a different uh, set of enchantments, or you go for the naughty ending, where you go straight to the grave and fight uh, for the armour, I'll call that, again, the naughty version. So we start with the naughty enchantment, and all the armour racing stay the same, obviously. Uh, armor rating 50, weight of 38, and in the naughty version, you get one hand attacks do 40% more damage, which again, very good for a battle mage. On the nice version, again, the armor rating is 50 and a weight of 38, and this simply increases your heavy armor skill by 25 points. Now, in my opinion, that's uh, pretty much a useless enchantment. Now if we come to the helmet, we have an armor rating of 27 and a weight of 10 and with the naughty enchantment which increases your magicka by 70 points. Again a very useful thing to have for a battle mage. Now if we look at the uh, nice version, Again, an armor rating of 27, weight of 10, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it increases your magic resistance by 22%. Now, that's actually a very handy um, enchantment to have. Toss up between the two, really. Okay, and if we come up to the gauntlets, they have an armor rating of 22 with a weight of 7. And destruction spells cost 25% less to cast. And then come up to the nice version. Again, an armor rating of 22 and a weight of 7, blah, blah, blah. And it increases your stamina by 70 points. Yeah, that's uh, pretty useless, I think. Okay, now for the naughty version on the night boots, we have an armor rating of 22 and a weight of 7. And a carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. And if we come up to the nicer version of the armour, we have again armour 22, weight 7, and it increases your stamina by 70 points, which is pretty more for like a, a typical two-handed heavy, heavy armoured warrior rather than a battle mage. So my final thoughts on this armour, well the attention to detail on the armour is very good and the story behind it is really interesting so make sure you read the journals and notes. 
The mod gives you three sets of armor, all heavy, and as far as I can tell, the stats appear to be a few points above their vanilla cousins, but I can't confirm that as I have absolutely no smithing XP on this character build. But looking on the internet, this does seem to be the case. Now, what I really like about this mod is there is a choice of enchantments between the two ebony versions which gives it more flexibility for different playstyles or indeed role playing. You can smith the sets once you have the right smithing perks. Now what this means is as you go through the game and the enchantments become less relevant, you'll be able to craft more suitable enchantments as you go along. So essentially you'll be able to use this armor for your entire playthrough, unlike most other Creation Club mods. Now, of course, there's the argument that it gives you access to top tier armor at a very low level, and I'm proof of that, being level one with a full set of Emily gear. But what could they do? People have paid for the mod and they wouldn't be happy, and rightly so, if they had to level up to get access to this mod. My only complaint and it's got nothing to do with this mod, is we have yet another set of heavy armor and I'm still bloody waiting for some light armor. Anyway, all that being said, I think this is some nicely detailed armor with some decent enchantments, and if you're a heavy armor user with some spare credits, then give it a shot if you like the look of it. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video, and more importantly, you found it useful. Catch you later, love ya. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, Please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the bell next to the subscribe button, after you subscribed obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.